how did all this happen? When did it happen? What was the beginning? Are we alone? Philosophers, scientists, and poets have asked the age-old questions. Perhaps the poets have pondered best. Away, away in our blossoming bowers, in the soft air wrapping these spheres of ours, in the seas and fountains that shine with morn, see, love is brooding and life is born. And breathing myriads are breaking from night to rejoice like us in motion and light. Glide on in your beauty, ye youthful spheres, to weave the dance that measures the years. Glide on in the glory and gladness sent to the farthest wall of the firmament, the boundless visible smile of him, to the veil of whose brow your lamps are dim. I've tried the new moon tilted in the air above a hazy tree and farmhouse cluster, as you might try a jewel in your hair. I've tried it fine with little breadth of luster, alone, or in one ornament combining, with one first water start almost shining. I put it shining anywhere I please, by walking slowly on some evening later. I've pulled it from a crate of crooked trees and brought it over glossy water greater, and dropped it in and seen the image wallow, the color run, all sorts of wonder follow. Do you remember still the falling stars that like swift horses through the heavens raced and suddenly leaped across the hurdles of our wishes? Do you recall? And we did make so many, for there were countless numbers of stars. Each time we looked above, we were astounded by the swiftness of their daring play, while in our hearts we felt safe and secure watching these brilliant bodies disintegrate, knowing somehow we had survived their fall. There remain as many questions about the universe as there are objects in the heavens. Many favor imponderable questions over answers. If you're one of those, you're in luck. The never-ending universe at least in our probable lifetime, is not likely to be fully known, not even by the poets.